Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for July 27th, 2021. What do we have going on? What's happening for us today? Oh, now the cards are flying everywhere. <laughs> we might feel a little scrambled and just kind of trying to take care of everything all at once. It does have this feeling of I'm tired of these outstanding issues. I want it done. I want it done now, you know, and be careful with that is what I'm hearing. Mauve, enjoy clear hearing. The number is 43. I believe we had this several days ago. Uh, reduces to seven. So your angelic team is trying to get through to you. It is trying to help you with solutions. But really what's happening, I'm getting this feeling that a lot of us are trying to rush through our lessons and it's just not time for that. <laughs> right? It's just not time. And they're saying, no, 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 stay with the lesson. Stay with the lesson. Don't go pushing through. Don't just try to go into denial and and run away from it because it's just going to repeat itself later on. So this is improving, I would say, your clear audience. And it doesn't mean you have to be clear audience. It doesn't really matter uh, how you get your messages so long as you get them in. So however you want to interpret this, you know, if, if your angels are coming through you through feeling, so that's clear sentience or clear sentience, uh, you know, make sure you understand what's coming through. And if you don't ask for clarification, as we were saying before, when this card came out, when you're interacting with other people, don't just jump to conclusions about what they're saying. Make sure you truly understand um, and understand yourself too. Are you, are you hearing your own body? Are you hearing the messaging coming through? If you have a reaction to something that wasn't, you know, the person didn't mean anything by it, but you've been around so many manipulative people, maybe a lot of covert narcissists that are always trying to take digs at you in an underhanded way. If you are a survivor of that kind of abuse, you understand what I'm talking about where, um, and this is just an example because I've lived it. So that's why I use that as an example. But you know, you might have a sensitivity to someone who really didn't mean anything by it, right? So that's us becoming more self-aware. Whatever your story is, you know, apply this example in any way that makes sense for you. But you know, you're kind of checking yourself here and listening to yourself. And this is also taking your own advice, right? So if somebody says, no, I think that person is great for you, or I think that job is exactly what you should be taking, but everything in you says, no, 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 no. That person isn't who they seem to be, or that job isn't what it seems to be. I just feel it. Listen to yourself. All right. You have a good intuition. Trust it. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.